How's it going guys? Mertz here bringing you another Watcher Realms video and today we will be talking about the new Salmon Shard. I'm so excited for this. At last, I'm gonna have a fucking Pyros. So this will be on Friday. So why am I excited for Pyros? Because I have Setram and Zilitu as my infernal faction damage dealers. Oh, Nok! is also infernal holy sh so i need to skill up this guy okay so we are gonna do some damage on the guild boss after getting pyros okay i didn't know he was also infernal damn so he's dual faction northerner and infernal okay so we have set from zilito and knock turn so what does pyros do so he increases 10 percent of allies with the same faction and when he casts his ult all allies from that faction meaning the infernal faction will gain penetration increase for 10 seconds so that's 30 percent ignore defense for 10 seconds so let's see how long is this so setram's ult is 15 seconds so he will use all of that 10 seconds when he ults as for zilitu she will also benefit from that 10 seconds because her ult is 35 seconds and if i max kill nocturne's ult it will be 30 seconds so he will make full use of that 10 seconds as well so my guild boss team will really benefit from pyros so after getting him i will six star him immediately so when he activates his ult and penetration increase okay so his ult when activated increases damage by 60 percent for 15 seconds and marks one target in range with the highest hp so that will be the guild boss of course at the moment to make it a prioritized target while dealing 30 percent damage per second the mark lasts for seven seconds and explodes at the end of its duration dealing 200 percent AoE damage to nearby enemies. When the hero is deployed as a lord, gain focus fire effect. So focus fire is faction allies except healers join forces to channel energy to the lord for a powerful strike regardless of their locations. The damage of his strike increases based on the number of participating heroes up to 700% damage. I don't know what that does, but his ult is only 15 second cooldown. So talent Pyros increases his attack speed by 50 per attack for 5 seconds, stacking up to 6 times. Damn! So that's 300 attack speed if you have max stacks. <laughs> that's a lot. So you don't need attack speed on him. You only need rage regen to cast this all the time. To activate his lord bonus so i already know how to build him so standard mage attack and this one oh my goodness another damage increase for your team vulnerability so physical and magic damage taken plus 10 percent so if you mark an enemy with this ult you will gain this vulnerability on that monster and it will also deal additional 150 percent aoe damage when the mark explodes <laughs> this is some op shit man oh you can also increase the vulnerability by 10 percent so this will be another 10 percent so it's 20 percent physical and magic damage taken <laughs> oh my god holy shit i'm so excited for him damn so i need to upgrade nocturne skills for added damage increase less skill cost and additional effect duration this will be 30 seconds holy shit! i'm so excited for my infernal faction team so i'm guessing after getting pyros i will switch arrogance's gear to zilitu because I already know she will beat Arrogance in terms of damage of the guild boss. With that vulnerability and penetration from Pyros. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So let me show you guys how my Arrogance beats my Zilitu 
in damage in the guild boss right now because Zilito doesn't have any lord skill and arrogance does and it's a five star lord in Torodor. So my nightmare four team still can't destroy the third shield and I'm only getting 11 plus K blood. But I can get 12k if I despawn my heroes and place them after that third shield. But I'm not doing that right now. I'm just letting them break the third shield even if they can't. As you can see here, it's really close. But yeah, I still can't. After getting Pyros, I know that I will break the third shield. Because Zilito will be a beast from that vulnerability and penetration increase. So Arrogance and Deimos are beating Zilith, even Abomination because of the Torador Lord skill. So she's number five at the moment. But after getting Pyros, I will make another video to show you that she will be top one or top two after getting that Pyros buff. It's the same in Nightmare 3. Arrogance, Deimos are the top two. So I think I will replace a bomb after I get Nocturne to max skill because I know Nocturne will beat a bomb in terms of damage, especially when I get that Pyros buff. So in here I get 14k, near 15k blood. Yeah, it's almost 15k. Oh, it's 15k. So in Nightmare 3, I think I will get 20k blood when I get Pyros. So she's 5th again. Argons and Deimos are beasts because of Torador buff. I guess that's it. I just wanna show you guys my excitement for Pyros. Because I really need him. He is the only lord I don't have and Raiden. And I have good infernal heroes. Nocturne, Zilitus, etc. That's why I'm really excited for him. So that's it guys. So if you enjoyed this video, if you have any suggestions, write it down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. Good luck on your summons. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next one. Peace!